Paul. Welcome to the workshop. Welcome to uh, Pencil Altoona. Thanks for all your passion for data science. Uh, some housekeeping items this morning. So, um, before we move on, I'd like to recognize a few uh, helpers who made this uh, workshop happen. So, actually, I wanted to let you know that this is actually the first one of a series of things we're doing over the summer. So, um, at the end of the workshop, I'll share some information about what else is coming up. But there's another workshop on uh, virtual uh, learning environment, actually in July. And then uh, in July, we also have an international conference uh, at the same location. So I'll share all the information on those. So uh, the first person I'd like to recognize is uh, Cindy Royal and uh, Deb Flagg. I think you, you saw them when you were coming in with all the bags and the registration materials and things like that. So they took care of a lot of uh, logistical issues up until today. And then uh, the next person is uh, Cindy. So Cindy is my administrative assistant. So uh, she's been also very integral to, I guess, making this happen. And what's important about her, I guess, is in this case, she's going to take care of your travel reimbursement. So if you haven't met uh, Cindy earlier, uh, I hope that you will have a chance to get to know her a little bit. And she was distributing these forms, uh, travel reimbursement forms, earlier today. So uh, if you don't have a form, uh, please talk to her later. And then the last person, <laughs> last but not least, <laughs> is uh, Ilba. So oh, we have more people coming in. Very good. <laughs> Uh, can you stand up? So, Ilva is actually our uh, latest research assistant, undergraduate student uh, here at Altoona, and she uh, did a lot of work for putting together our program. You can see it in your folder. Uh, there is a program for the whole day, so thank you so much. How do you pronounce your last name? Missouri. Okay, good. <laughs> Very good. So thank you so much. And so I don't know why they do this, but uh, the real people do this all the time, so I'm going to try it. <laughs> they are laughing because, yeah, yeah, safety breaking, so we have exits and I can do CPR, so we're all set. <laughs> yeah, so I actually, when I was in the military, I was... Uh, Combat medic, so yeah, I can do something at least, I think, in an emergency situation. Uh, regarding your wireless, so uh, if you need your wireless connection, I think we have uh, AT&T wireless available. We have our uh, network manager on campus right here, so <laughs> you can talk to him. <laughs> yeah, so you can use AT&T for free. And again, especially for uh, out of town folks, um, you can take advantage of the uh, travel reimbursement opportunity. And then uh, one thing we were going to offer was um, so this is just for uh, us making a nice gesture, which is uh, we're going to distribute these uh, travel tags you can use for your bags, luggages, and things like that. So I think. At some point, somebody will hand you uh, this travel tag, a uh, blank one. You can fill it out, and then we'll laminate it and uh, redistribute. So that's a kind of a bonus for the conference, actually the workshop. And uh, the last item. So, sorry about Professor Lee, but I have your name there. But uh, we decided to form a team for the workshop because, I mean, it's work 
shop, right? So I'm going to have you work a little bit throughout the day. And actually, we distributed this uh, sheet earlier. It says um, group assignment. So uh, when you have a chance, just take a look. And I mean, I just have some questions about uh, I mean, what you want to suggest uh, regarding the work we're doing. And after you review some materials and after you listen to us during the workshop, uh, we actually have a group presentation scheduled tomorrow uh, in the morning. So each team will give them like 10 minutes to just talk about how they feel about the workshop and how they would like to answer some of these questions I posed earlier. So that's what this is. So. Uh, after this uh, morning introduction session, I'm going to write down the team makeup just to make sure I know who are uh, in the same team as well. So next is just an overview of the uh, agenda. So as you can see, we were supposed to start at 8.30, but we're a little behind, but we're okay because I made sure we had some buffer time, so <laughs> it's all good. Um, so we're supposed to be done by 9.50, so we have about, I guess we still have almost 45 minutes or something like this, which is perfect for the introductions. And I don't know whether you can find the programs in your folder, but yeah, so you can use that for your reference. So one announcement I'd like to make is in the afternoon, uh, we have this uh, hands-on session. Uh, given by our group called TLT. What is TL? What does TLT stand for? Quiz. So Dave. <laughs> True love and. <laughs> 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 so it's uh, teaching and learning with technologies, I think. So, so I invited a couple people from TLT because uh, one of the things we're doing as part of this project is uh, so-called uh, digital storytelling. So we're going to learn something about you know, how to go about digital storytelling from them in the afternoon. So that's kind of the highlight of the day. And then uh, day two, as I told you, we'll do a little bit of uh, presentations from the participants. So, that, so the very first part of the introductions is really to introduce the team, the project team, so the makeup, uh, the makeup of the uh, project team in general. So I'm actually the principal investigator of the project. So we are doing this as part of an NSF project, so National Science Foundation project. So I'm the PI who's in charge of the money, I guess. <laughs> so I have to be very careful, yeah. And not overspending the money. But I made sure that we have uh, very good meals throughout the day. Uh, so, what else can I say? So, one thing nice about me is that I know, I think, almost every single person <laughs> in the room. So, probably I don't need an, an introduction, but I'm, uh, my name is Jung Ryu and I go by JR, mostly. And I'm the Professor of Information Sciences and Technology uh, at Penn State Altoona. And I wear a lot of hats, I think. So also the head of the division, so I'm also congratulating the event. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. So killing two birds with one stop. Yes, that's what we're doing. So uh, congratulatory remarks. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I've been working at Altoona for the past uh, 11 years, and this is my 12th year. And uh, so you'll see later there are some bullet points about you know what you're going to talk about yourself. But one of the items was uh, uh, something memorable about you. So in my case, what's memorable about me is I do 70 push-ups every day in the morning in a row. So that's what's nice about me. <laughs> <laughs> or memorable about me. Yeah. And then I run two miles a day, so that's good. <laughs> okay, moving on to uh, Professor Lee. 
Would you like to say something about yourself? I go by Dong Wan. The first name sounds a lot like Don Wan, um, <laughs> although I'm not liking at all. <laughs> um, so I generally work on the data science, um, data mining, uh, machine learning area. Um, the, let's see. I have uh, three daughters. So at home, I always outnumbered. <laughs> um, and I uh, you know, take pictures as hobby. At one point, I seriously considered the, uh, changing the jobs. But the, my wife said, I don't have any talents. <laughs> it's not the same as school. He's being uh, modest because you will be yeah, fascinated by some of the pictures he's taken. But Dr. Lee, Professor Lee is actually uh, the in-house expert of the project, pretty much. I mean, because he's really into data science, and that's what he has been focusing on in computer science in general. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so we depend a lot on Professor Lee. And next is uh, Professor Byung. Uh, Hi, my name is Su Yong. Uh, I'm a faculty in educational policy studies, so I'm not a like a big data scientist or security at all. Uh, my research area is the, uh, the evaluate the effect of educational policy and um, program. So my role in this project is to the evaluate to what extent our new module are effective uh, in increase uh, student awareness and knowledge about big data. So in a, about an hour later, I'm going to present some preliminary results from our uh, pilot study. Um, about me, me, I start learning a golf. Um, and recently, I made a first buddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, first night in my life, so I'm really happy about that. Mm -hmm. So, see, so moving on to the rest of the team, uh, the very essential part of the team. So we. He couldn't be here today. Actually, we were talking about <laughs> Skyping him in today, but I think he just didn't have a chance to do this. So uh, the next person I'd like to introduce is our external evaluator. So this person is in charge of evaluating the quality of our project in general, especially, I think, with respect to the assessment piece. So uh, we have one more person who keeps an eye on our project and he's an associate professor of education psychology and research and from University of South Carolina so again because what he's trying to evaluate is really the assessment piece uh, his discipline fits the project really well so his name is Matt how do you pronounce Ur the Urban. name? Urban? Yeah, Urban so uh, that's the next person and then uh, I'm going to also introduce uh, graduate research assistants. So we have one person uh, participating in the workshop right now. So her name is uh, Jibin An. So would you like to introduce yourself? <laughs> I'm a first year PhD student in education theory and policy, and I joined this project last um, like last fall. So it's my first time visiting Altima campus since. So, oh, one memorable thing about you. I forgot about that. Oh, memorable <laughs> thing about me. Yeah. Oh, like I just realized this morning that like. I'm an Asian, but I cannot eat sushi. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> that is very memorable. <laughs> Definitely, uh, I guess uh, this uh, idea of, uh, I mean, breaking the idea of this uh, stereotyping kind of thing. Yes, but uh, yeah, okay, so that's definitely memorable. She is also a PhD student studying under Professor Bian. So that's how she got to join the project. And then one more person is uh, He Jin Zhang. She's a PhD candidate. So this team, including Professor Byung, uh, they're really focusing on the assessment part of our project. So how effective our learning materials are and whether students are really getting anything out of what we're developing. 
Okay, so next. <laughs> so we have a lot of people in the team. So uh, the next group of people, we have majority of them here. So we have uh, four, at the moment, four undergraduate research assistants uh, helping with the project. So the very first one uh, who's serving our project for the longest time uh, is uh, Tyler. So would you like to introduce yourself, Tyler? Hi, um, my name's Tyler Bohr. I've been working with this project since the fall. Ryan's actually been working on it a bit longer, but he's not here today. So uh, I don't know. This is uh, going into a senior year, so one more year of college, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> one interesting thing about me is actually from this area, so I live about 30 minutes out towards Evansburg, actually. That's about it. So would you like to say anything about maybe what you've been able to you know, uh, learn or grasp uh, as part of this project? Up until now, yeah. Uh, didn't really learn, or didn't really know that much about. <laughs> didn't really know that much about data science in general until I uh, started working here, and it's been hugely impacted how I view uh, just that data in general and how we collect it and how it can be used to uh, make predictions and uh, stuff like that in general. Yeah. So. So. One thing I can tell you is that I mean, in the beginning, I mean, he didn't know anything about, for example, tools like Weka, which is uh, our sort of machine learning, user-friendly type of tool. But now I think he's. All, are you thinking that you're almost an expert? <laughs> no. Getting there. Getting there. Yeah. yeah. And then another nice thing about uh, him is that he was here for his first two years. So we have a computer science program on campus, so they can finish the first two years and then they move to University Park campus, but I mean, yeah, so Tyler is almost halfway a Penn State Altoona student, and all of our students working for the project are sort of that way. I made sure that we have Penn State Altoona students kind of working on the project. Next is Jake. Hi, I'm Jake. Um, I'm also an undergraduate in computer science. I did the uh, 2 and 2 program from Altoona, so I'll be a rising senior. Um, JR, I started do, working with JR uh, this spring, but I've like really had time to get into it starting this summer. And he's had me doing more of uh, network intrusion detection and uh, traffic volume monitoring. And um, three, a memorable thing about me. Oh, three. I have three like okay. three things. Uh, I'm a big golfer. I really enjoy golfing, oh, so uh, snowboarding. Golfing. Yeah, that's good that you got birdie. There you go. <laughs> um, snowboarding is another one of my big hobbies, and I also like to cook. Oh, wonderful! Yeah. Okay. Next is Ilva. Hi, I'm Ilva, and I just finished my second year year here. Uh, I'm currently enrolled in the IC program and hoping to switch into the SRA program. And one cool thing about me, I was born in Albania. Albania, yeah. yeah. And you just became a U.S. citizen, right? Yeah, I just yeah. became a U.S. citizen. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. So, actually, uh, Ilva is the latest member of our team. and. In the past, we've had so many actually undergraduate research assistants who are now, I mean, who are no longer with us, but yeah, so this is just the latest team we have, and we're gonna uh, potentially add some additional people to the team, so it's coming. Okay, now, we also have an advisory board, and one of the advisory member, advisory board members actually uh, is here. So Professor Lee is sitting in the back, but he has a special presentation he's going to uh, use, so I'm going to bring that up later. But Professor Lee is here. But we have a number of advisory board members helping with the uh, uh, quality 
assurance piece of the project. And we also have some collaborating uh, institutions. So the idea is we develop the materials, we develop the labs, we develop all these approaches, and then uh, dissemination is a big part of the project. So that's uh, one of the reasons why we're really trying to reach out to all these people. And uh, one of the collaborating institutions is uh, Penn State Berks. So uh, Mike from, <laughs> so again, I'm probably going to butcher your last name, so maybe you should say it later, but yeah. yeah. So Mike is here from uh, uh, Penn State Berks. Oh, we have one more person coming in, just in time, have a seat. Uh, and then um, we have other universities like uh, uh, Drexel University and uh, University of Pittsburgh. So they're going to be using some of the modules we're developing. So we're in touch with them and um, hopefully Professor Pyon and uh, his team can work with them to get uh, the assessment piece done. And then we also have some community colleges working together with us too. So locally, YTI. Uh, is one of the community colleges and he's supposed to be here, Adam uh, from YTI here at Altoona, he's supposed to come to the workshop so I'm hoping that uh, he can come and join us later but uh, you may see him later. So that's pretty much our uh, collaborating institutions but I also invited some additional people just because to include them in this list. So the list hopefully is uh, growing, and that's sort of the intention of the uh, project. Okay, so I should have shown this earlier, but um, so we're going to take turns from now. Uh, and expect, except for those people who have the presentations, I collected some presentations. Uh, from these people, but for those, I mean, local at Altoona, I'm going to uh, have them just introduce themselves a little bit. Name, title, affiliation, what is your goal for the uh, workshop, and then one memorable fact about, I know what it is for Bill, but you can go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bill Engelbrecht. Um, I'm an accountant. I'm a bean counter, and uh, my, my, and I got lost today, believe it or not, and then and I, the instruction should have said, go to your office, <laughs> park in your normal spot, and go up three floors, and you'll be there. But no, I ended up at the Wyndham uh, after a long walk. But um, data analytics has really entered the field. Uh, Dr. Yu and I have put together a certificate program in cybersecurity information systems auditing. But uh, in the accounting profession, data analytics, and so I'm hoping to, to learn, learn some things and, and start to build some, some skills. I haven't built very much at this point. In terms of memorable facts, I'll, I'll probably link several together. The, the, the big one is, um, and this may be what he's going to say. I'm a geezer. I've just finished my 40th year at Penn State Altoona. <laughs> um, related to that, I'm, I'm also a golfer, but I have now reached the stage where. I look and say, I used to be able to hit it over there, but now I'm too old. <laughs> and and, uh, and number, number kind of connected with, with, with the other ones is uh, I was formerly the, the head of the Division of Business and Engineering and ISP, a title that JR now holds, and I hired JR. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that. <laughs> okay, so Dave. Hi, I'm Smooth Dave. Uh, I'm instructor. I play bass. That's why, so I guess I'm done with my facts. I was going to give you a lecture on bourbon instead, but that's going to have to oh, go I want to hear that one. Oh, you want to hear that? All right, I'll give you that one. Um, I teach here at Penn State Altoona. Uh, my goal is I'm just very curious about the project, so that's why I'm here. I apologize in advance. I'm going to be in and out a little bit because my wife's away, so I have some child care responsibilities today. But. I will be around. So anyway, uh, since Bill wants to hear about the bourbon, uh, I have a friend that I drink a lot of high quality expensive bourbon in pursuit of finding the finest bourbon in the world. And last week we got together and we decided we wanted to do what we called a bottom shelf shootout. 
we bought the cheapest bourbon you could possibly get your hands on. And uh, I gotta tell ya, two of the eight bottles that we drank were uh, suicidal. And the other six, if you mix them with coke, they're okay, but otherwise you wouldn't want to drink that stuff straight. So if you want the exact results of what to drink and what not to drink, let me know, uh, and I will be happy to help you out. So David, I paid the price. You know what? What? This is all being recorded and it's going to be on YouTube tomorrow. <laughs> well, if it's going to be on YouTube, then I think maybe I better put up the results. <laughs> So what's special ever about you is the bourbon there? Uh, I was going to go smooth, but... Okay, smooth, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay let's see. Cynthia, maybe, yeah. Uh, I'm Cynthia Wood. I've been here 22 years. Actually, Bill hired me. Um, and I teach, I've taught a, a variety of courses from computer science to MIS to... My most recent is a quantitative um, statistics class. It's SCM 200, but um, it's really nothing to do with supply chain. And I, um, I'm hoping we're hoping to start offering a big data class. My background is in math um, from the Everly College of Science, and I've had some corporate experience. So I'm hoping to just gather some information about some, some what the project is about and, and be able to glean some of that to use in classes. Um, memorable about me, um, mother of three boys. Two of the three are, are big golfers. The youngest just signed a D2 golf scholarship, and he graduates in, if I break into tears, it's because I'm thinking about it. He graduates in seven hours, so I'm going to be leaving a little early to go stake my spot at the stadium for his graduation. Um, the oldest is in Special Forces in the Army, and the middle one is at the Naval Academy studying to be an officer in the Navy. So. You did a great job. <laughs> okay, next is uh, Larry. Hello, my name is Larry Garvin, and my affiliation is I'm an instructor here at Penn State Altoona. Uh, what are my goals for today? Uh, what I'll be presenting today, so hopefully we'll have fun with my presentation and maybe I can uh, clean some things for you. But also, I'm also here to learn and have fun. Uh, memorable facts. Uh, I do 100 push-ups a day in three miles. That <laughs> 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 no, was just a joke. Uh, but, I, but I do work out. Um, I was actually, my undergrad was at Slippery Rock University, and I was actually the bodybuilding champion there. Oh, that's what it is. But uh, I still work out. I'm a big cyclist, and in the summertime, I work at the bicycle shop in State College. So oh. anyone wants to get into cycling, I'll sell you a bike and I'll give you a deal. Wonderful. <laughs> so you may be wondering why I'm taking this much time to do the introduction. That's because I really believe in the power of networking. So I think probably the most important part of the workshop is this one because you get to know the people you can get to do more networking and broaden your social network, I guess. So next is uh, Lloyd. Good morning, my name is Lloyd Painter. I work here at Penn State Altoona as the Network and Systems Manager. I'm also in charge of uh, Network Security. And then I teach part-time. Uh, I teach ISC 210 is one of the classes I teach. Um, we touch on um, big data uh, within that class, but don't in go into a lot of detail. Um, so I guess I'm here to learn more about um, big data in general um, to benefit the class and the students. And I guess um, memorable for me, um, uh, one of my passions is boating, so that's my big thing. Oh, boating. Boating, yes. Anything else? You don't have three? <laughs> no, I do not have three. <laughs> <laughs> not that exciting. So, if you have any Wi-Fi issues, talk to me. <laughs> okay, next is uh, Professor O from uh, Rochester Institute of Technology. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm from Rochester Institute of Technology. I'm an associate professor there. I'm in charge of a graduate program in networking and sysadmin, and I'm also affiliated with the computing security program. So my research areas are uh, vehicle area networks and uh, IoT security, and we're doing very big push on IoT these days. And we did a very big push on uh, uh, analytic, uh, especially in data science, uh, and uh, uh, we're 
doing this. I would like to include the analytic components in our curriculum, especially graduate curriculum in there, and that's why I'm here to learn more about it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next is uh, Professor Chang. Oh. So she's a very oh. special person, that's why we have a presentation. Well, I was starting to wonder if I'm the only person who doesn't work for Penn State, but so I'm happy to hear Amida Taku. <laughs> uh, so I'm from Chatham University, which is located in Pittsburgh, right outside of Carnegie Mellon. Uh, I do have a bunch of people from Slippery Rock teaching for me, and so uh, I'm the director of the business program, so I run all the undergraduate and graduate programs. But I just launched our new data science analytics major at the undergrad level. Um, I also started our MIS major two years ago. So MIS is my specialty, that's my discipline, but these days I'm usually worrying about accounting, all these other programs. And uh, so my, ha I, my research is primarily on financial frauds. I work a lot with the Institute for Fraud Prevention. I focus on behavioral security and general. So more of the softer and the psychology side of things. Um, so I have, I last year I got an uh, IBM faculty award for my uh, fraud analytics research and, or my proposal more <laughs> of using analytics to uh, investigate financial fraud. So more on the accounting side, I do work with a lot of accountants. Um, so yeah. I think you should definitely collaborate with Yeah, I'll be happy yeah. to do that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and uh, Professor Zhang is probably the only person I don't know. I mean, I haven't known up, up until today. So right, right, right. Yeah. yeah, very nice to meet you. I'm so glad to be part of this. One of our mutual friends, I think, introduced me to this workshop, so I'm really excited. And so one thing about me is I started my first uh, uh, dance performance, maybe the last one, I don't know. It's probably the beginning and the end of my career, but I was part of that dance performance in March. Hi, I'm Mike Bartolacci, a professor of ISD at the Berks campus or Berks College. Much like Altoona, we're a college within the Penn State system. I teach both uh, SRA, Security Risk Analysis, and ISD. Uh, I'm also editor of two academic journals, both in telecommunications. And the funny thing about me, uh, 18 years at Penn State, I've taught over 40 different courses. Wow. So uh, you name it in SRA or ISD, <laughs> and I've probably taught it at one point or another. Oh, what I want to get out of it. Yeah, I, I teach uh, both uh, SRA 231, and uh, ISD 421, those are two particular courses. I do some big data in them, and I'm hoping to add more to it. So I'm from Virginia Beach, and uh, slides over six hours driving mountain, <laughs> sea, from sea to the mountain. To get a special award. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> Currently, I'm in charge of uh, information systems technology. Regent University is a small liberal arts college, a Christian liberal arts college, but uh, now it's growing kind of dramatically. I heard that uh, Regent University is growing so fast. It's the US number one, I heard. We broke the record of uh, 10K students, and next time so, it will be 20K. Uh, in 2016, 9,000 is here. So you just, yeah. yeah so, quite uh, good. And uh, I'm the first uh, engineering PhD degree holder hired because it's a liberal arts college, you know, it's a psychology, all the things. And uh, now we are creating many programs. And the IST, Information Systems Technology, was the first one. So, I took an initiative to create a computer science program and the cyber security program, and the systems engineering and the computer engineering. And uh, we also created a master of science in uh, cyber security. We already started this summer, six students. And uh, we have a kind of a big plan. And this one is one side. The other side would be because of the organization Centara, it's a healthcare system. We created the scope of healthcare management. So my research areas are 
computer networking and telecommunications, especially uh, computer network and telecom network management and uh, service management on top of network. The other areas are systems engineering, especially protocol engineering, that side and the applications of uh, uh, kind of security in wireless healthcare, especially those areas. And, uh, I'm teaching uh, almost all the IST, Information System Technology courses. Last uh, semester, it was uh, just, uh, I set the world record in, in my term, right? Like, uh, <laughs> I taught eight courses. Wow. First semester, but successfully finished. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's a lot of yeah, too many courses, and we are aggressively hiring faculty members nationwide. So if you are interested to enjoy <laughs> beautiful kind of a Virginia Beach and seashores, and uh, I have, uh, actually I brought a lot of pictures but, uh, during, <laughs> during break uh, yesterday. Uh, yesterday we. Uh, had a kind of a meeting with the uh, Virginian governor because uh, he's so interested in cyber security and uh, manufacturing and healthcare. And uh, that they invited me. And I can do so thank you. So I, I can tell you your uh, memorable fact. Memorable. Yeah, he goes by your best choice, right? It's my <laughs> best name because uh, st students encrypted my name. Like your best choice, why be choice? Yeah. Yeah. Those are his initials. Yeah. So, uh, during my leisure time, I live in a rural area and nothing to do. It's a cows and uh, kind of bears. Actually, bears are coming. Mm -hmm. I'm living in Shannon. It's kind of like Altoona. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but see, even they are coming to the back porch. So I enjoy to write uh, some poems and essays, and I have my own blog. Especially, I really, really enjoy to write Chinese poems. Well, I'm not a Chinese. <laughs> and the translating into different languages because uh, uh, originally I studied uh, AI long time ago, expert systems and uh, natural uh, kind of uh, natural language processing. My concern was like uh, robust, uh, even almost uh, error-free user interface design and implementation. I did uh, design the pilot one, but as you can tell, AI. And just uh, plunge it, and now it's coming up. But still, I have that interest. So the reason of attending this uh, workshop is I want to learn about the big data analytics more, <coughs> and I want to apply those to especially uh, healthcare and the personalized uh, kind of healthcare services. Kind of and, uh, doing research and the teaching in IST, computer science, and uh, cyber security. Thank you so much. Next is Professor Lee. Nice to meet you. My name is Chang Yu Lee. Uh, usually, just like the many Asian the faculty and the people, I'm using the two initials of my first name, JK, but one time the, my daughter suggested not to use the JK. It's just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so nowadays, I'm using the last name, which is the easiest way to pronounce, but because of the my long time friend and the collaborator Tomo, so it's the same last name, so but uh, either way it's fine to mm -hmm. call me. And uh, I'm the faculty foot and professor of the University of Bridgeport. If you never heard about the Bridgeport, it, which is the uh, one hour driving distance to the east side of the New York along the I-95, and also the 10 minute distance, the driving distance from the Yale University. And also my office is, as you can see, the, is a, a seaside. It's a, uh, the, the JL side is a Long Island, and the, the Dr. O side is a New York, so, which is a wonderful location. So if you have a chance to visit Boston or drive into the Connecticut, I don't know whether you heard about the Connecticut. I realized that many of the American people never heard about the Connecticut. <laughs> That's really true. But, uh, and then uh, I'm working with uh, uh, four PhD students and uh, several master's students. And uh, uh, I work with uh, JR and also the Doma long time, and uh, I got uh, a lot of help, and today I'm going to present about the part of the, it's not work, but anyway, summer, the, the event, 
and also the memorable. Uh, the anti-aging mostly data based or data data related one. I, um, I don't know that just first. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the mostly the anti-aging data. So in my first class, I usually uh, the talk about the history. But uh, I try to offer the kind of, uh, I major in mathematics, so I like the history of math, uh, which is a senior class. Probably it's time to teach you the history of computer science. That's sometimes very, very interesting. Anyway, so first class I introduced what happened in 1969. So you know what is the, the history of the event 1969? Yes, so mm -hmm. the, uh, I think it's July. So the Neil Armstrong set on the moon first time. So. And then second thing is that the EF code the proposed the relational model, so 1969, and the uh, published the 1970, in the, which is the, one of the, the most popular and the cited uh, paper. And third thing is, Professor Lee was born, so which is the most memorable. <laughs> and also, the, I will interest more about my research and background, and also the uh, summer camp in the yeah.